This video is for educational purposes only. We do not condone or promote hacking or illegal activities. You trust your iPhone, sleek, powerful, and supposedly secure. But even Apple's fortress has cracks. In 2025, hackers are more sophisticated than ever, and the biggest vulnerability is often us, the users. Today, we're breaking down the 10 most shocking ways your iPhone could be compromised right now. This isn't about fear, it's about awareness. Understanding the threat is the first step to protecting yourself. We'll cover everything from invisible attacks to psychological tricks. Let's peel back the layers of Apple's security and see what really lies beneath. Let's start with the scariest zero-click exploits. Imagine your phone untouched, suddenly compromised. No clicks, no downloads, no warning. These attacks target deep vulnerabilities, like the code that previews images in iMessage. Hackers send a malicious file, your phone processes it in the background, and they're in. Tools like Pegasus Spyware can access your mic, camera, messages, and location without a trace. The only real defense? Keep your iPhone updated. Apple patches these flaws fast, but the window is always there. That red badge on your settings app? Don't ignore it. For high-risk users, Apple's lockdown mode disables risky features, trading convenience for security. Most of us won't need it, but if you're a potential target, it's worth considering. Zero-click attacks are rare, but devastating, so update and stay alert. When a new iOS update drops, install it immediately. Lockdown mode is extreme, but for some it's essential. Convenience or security, the choice is yours. Updates keep you safe, unless the update itself is a trap. Hackers now use fake iOS update pop-ups and texts, mimicking Apple's style to trick you. Tap Install Now on a fake, and you're installing malware, keyloggers, spyware, even ransomware. Your phone might reboot and look normal, but the damage is done. Remember, Apple never sends updates via pop-ups or texts, only update through settings general software update. If a pop-up asks you to install a configuration profile, that's a huge red flag. Profiles can change your phone's settings or install malware. Never install one unless you trust the source completely. Be skeptical of urgent messages demanding action. The only safe place for updates is your settings app. Don't let your instincts be used against you. Stay alert and don't give strangers the keys to your digital house. Fake updates are clever. Don't fall for them. Trust, but verify. Low battery at the airport? That public USB charging station could be a trap. Juice jacking exploits the fact that USB ports transfer both power and data. A hacked port or cable can steal your data or install malware when you plug in. Apple now prompts you to trust this computer? Always tap don't trust on public chargers. Some attacks use malicious cables like the O.MG cable, which can be controlled wirelessly by hackers. The safest move, use your own charger and a wall outlet. If you must use a public USB port, use a USB data blocker. It only lets power through, not data. Never trust a public port or cable. A $10 data blocker can save you from a world of trouble. Stay charged, but stay safe. Convenience shouldn't cost your security. Protect your data. Think before you plug in. Juice jacking is real, but preventable. Phishing has evolved. Now it's personal, and it's on your phone. Smishing, SMS phishing, uses texts that look like they're from your bank, Apple, or a delivery service. The messages are convincing, often using your real info from past data breaches. Click the link and you're on a fake login page, enter your credentials and they're stolen. Some links even install spyware directly. The best defense? Skepticism, never click links in unsolicited texts. Check the sender, look for weird URLs and if in doubt, go directly to the company's official site or app. Attackers prey on urgency and fear, don't let them rush you. If a message seems off, it probably is. Stay cautious and don't let curiosity get the best of you. Smishing is effective because it feels personal. Don't fall for it. Trust your instincts, not the message. Protect your credentials at all costs. Free Wi-Fi is everywhere and so are hackers. Rogue Wi-Fi networks can impersonate real ones, letting attackers intercept everything you do online. Log into a site without HTTPS and your info is exposed. Even with HTTPS, advanced attacks like SSL stripping can still get you. Hackers can redirect you to fake sites or inject malware into your browsing. Always double-check network names and ask staff if you're unsure. The best defense? Use a VPN. It encrypts your traffic, even on sketchy networks. Or, skip public Wi-Fi and use your cellular data. If you don't need Wi-Fi, don't connect. Public Wi-Fi is convenient, but risky. Stay encrypted, stay safe. Don't let a free connection cost you your privacy. The App Store is curated, but fake apps still slip through. 
Malicious apps mimic popular ones, same icon, similar name, but loaded with adware or worse. Some steal your data by requesting unnecessary permissions, others impersonate banking apps to grab your credentials. Always check the developer's name, reviews, and download numbers. Be wary of apps with lots of recent one-star reviews or that appear as ads at the top of search results. If an app asks for permissions it shouldn't need, delete it. Don't trust an app just because it's in the App Store. Double check before you download. Impersonator apps are sneaky. Don't let them in. Protect your data by being picky. One bad download can compromise everything. Bluetooth connects your devices, but it can also expose you to attacks. Exploits like blue snarfing let hackers nearby access your contacts, photos, or even track your location. Some attacks just need you to have Bluetooth on, they don't require pairing. Apple patches these flaws, but wireless signals are always a risk. If you're not using Bluetooth, turn it off in settings, not just Control Center. In crowded places, disabling Bluetooth makes you invisible to would-be attackers. Simple step, big protection. Don't broadcast your presence if you don't have to. Stay off the radar, stay secure. SIM swapping doesn't hack your phone, it hacks your phone number. Attackers trick your carrier into transferring your number to their SIM, then hijack your calls, texts, and two-factor codes. With your number, they can reset your passwords and drain your accounts. Protect yourself by adding a PIN or password to your carrier account. Avoid SMS-based two-factor authentication. Use an authenticator app or a physical security key instead. Your phone number is your digital identity. Guard it fiercely. Don't share personal info publicly and monitor your accounts for suspicious activity. SIM swapping is fast and devastating. Take steps now before it's too late. Security is layered. Don't rely on just one defense. Stay vigilant and stay in control. The oldest hack is still the most effective, social engineering. Attackers use calls, texts, or emails to trick you into giving up passwords or codes. They might pretend to be Apple support, your bank, or even your company's IT department. No legitimate company will ever ask for your password or two-factor code over the phone. If you get a suspicious call, hang up and call the company back using their official number. Always be the one to initiate contact. Awareness is your best defense. Never give out sensitive info on an unsolicited request. Social engineering preys on trust and fear. Stay skeptical and double-check everything. The strongest firewall is a questioning mind. Don't let anyone hack you, literally. Jailbreaking removes Apple's security restrictions, giving you root access, but also exposing you to massive risks. A jailbroken iPhone is wide open to malware, spyware, and persistent attacks. Hackers can jailbreak your phone if they get physical access, or target users who've already jailbroken with malicious apps. Unless you fully understand the risks, don't jailbreak. The freedom isn't worth the loss of security for most users. Apple's walled garden protects you. Don't tear it down lightly. If a hacker can jailbreak your phone, they own it. For most, security is more valuable than customization. Don't make yourself an easy target. 10 ways your iPhone can be breached, none of them science fiction. The threats are real, but knowledge is your best defense. Keep your software updated, use strong passwords, and enable multi-factor authentication with an app or security key. Be skeptical of unsolicited messages, links, and public connections. Security is a process, stay vigilant, make yourself a hard target, and attackers will move on. Stay safe, stay informed, and keep your devices updated. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more cybersecurity tips.